Hello Aries, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus. This is Mystic Jen and this is your reading for October 2020. This is not your Halloween reading but this is your October reading. I am using a Halloween Oracle deck and I'm going to draw a couple cards from the Oracles and we are going to do something different. I am going to do a mini tableau. Not the grand tableau, a mini tableau using the Lenormand cards. I cannot take credit for this. Um, it was Kendra Porto, co-author of Under the Roses Lenormand. And that's, this is the Under the Roses Lenormand that I had just gotten in this weekend. It was waiting for me when I got back from vacation. So, and before we begin, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share my videos and comment. And now let's go ahead and get into your reading. This is the Halloween Oracle. Okay, messages and guidance, please, for my Aries, Sun, Rising, Moon. And we have, okay, we do have two, we have Scrying and Skull of Darkness. The Skull of Darkness represents the things in the shadows, the things that are hidden. It represents our fears. Scrying is intuition. And there are blind spots with the Skull of Darkness, things that are hidden. And, and the scrying is saying you need to trust your intuition when you don't know the answer, but your gut is telling you something, that you need to trust that gut feeling and trust your intuition. I might have to get a second stand. Okay. And I'm using the Madame Andorra fortune telling cards also Messages and guidance, please, for my airy sun rising and moon. Okay, we have the mistral. Let your intentions be known. That is pretty self explanatory. But when you put things out into the universe, you have to let your intentions be known. If you are trying to manifest something, if you're trying to manifest new love or trying to fix a relationship, or if you're trying to manifest money, whatever, or a better job, you have to let your intentions be known to the universe. And if for some of you, when you're dealing with other people, don't hide your intentions. Let it be known exactly what it is that you're expecting. What it, what, when you go and do something, whether it's for someone, doing something for someone, or when you go out and set on a path and it affects other people, it's ethical to let other people know exactly what your intentions are. Now, the mini tableau or the petite tableau. It is um, 18 cards. It is three rows of five and a destiny row of three. In other words, five by five or five by three by three. Okay. What messages or, and guidance does Aries, Sun, Rising, and Moon need to know for October 2020?
So we go one, two, three, four, five, Interesting. This is very interesting. This feels more geared around a man. Um, the first thing I want to do though is cover what that seems like the theme is here. Um, we have our cornerstone cards, which is right the four corners. That sets the theme of this reading. And we have the grave, also known as the coffin, and the tree. Okay, the grave is the subject. It is about some sort of ending but also it ends with the, with the tree. The tree could be growth, it could be family. This could, you know, the Lenormand is very blunt. The tree can be indicating family, the family tree. And I am inclined to say that there could have been a death in the family Okay, uh, for some of you, that's not going to be for everybody, but there could have been a death in the family. Uh, another go-to word for this is transformation. There could be a change or a transformation within a family dynamic. This is uh, about the roots. It could also be, for some of you, a change in health, a transformation in health. It, um, so it could go either way. But what I'm feeling here is that I do feel that something being wrong because of the oracles that were drawn about trusting in your intuition. Things that are hinted. You know, there may be, and when I see the grave, I'm seeing a burial. So there could be things buried about the family, okay? That there may be, I'm not gonna say secrets because the book is about secrets. But there, but this could be secrets, but it's family. So this would be, I feel like a family burial for most. A burial, a death. Whether this, you know, it could even be family relations that get cut off or ended. But it definitely feels like a family issue that is being transformed. Then we go to clouds and the heart love the keyword this is depression this could also be cloudiness murkiness something unclear so what i feel like with the clouds card This could be doubts. Love doubts, romantic doubts. Somebody doubting someone else's emotions. Um, and putting this together, I would say for somebody out there, for most, this is a change in within a, a long-standing relationship Okay, some kind of long-standing relationship has changed and doubts are setting in. You know, romantic feelings, feelings of somebody else, how you, 
the feelings of your significant other or love interest, there are doubts associated with this. Okay, now to move on from that, we have the gentleman card over here. He is definitely looking into the future. He's trying, he's turning his back on the past, but I want to put an extra row here. So I have a total nine card square here and I'm using a different deck to do this. To find out what is he turning his back on. Okay, we have house. Bear. And we have ladder. So what it looks like is that in his row, he, he may have been a boss or a head. Um, he or he's turn or mother bear. He could be. He's turning his back on something really big. But I feel like he was a boss, male boss. And we have the key, karma, or destiny, or answers. Wisdom. So I feel like we have a wise man here who is turning him turning his back on something big. In the, his thought process here is we've got the grave and we've got the home. Home is representation of family or it could be property. And we have travel here ship destination i this is looking more like leaving a bigger home behind the grave and the home transformation in family and it's echoing this here there is a change in the family dynamics and somebody is moving there is movement here somebody is moving and there's a change in a family dynamic and what is going on here is the, su the subject of this, the road down here represents what's happening. This is documents or communication of some sort. And this is, this is anxiety over some mucky or unclear communications. This could be a contract. And it's like this, and this is what's going on. He's received this communication that is very unclear, and this could be involving um, a home. I definitely feel involves family. And past situation, home, this might have been a really big family or big home. You know, communication that is leading that, that you know, Big home and communicating, the family communication. This is something big that has happened already. He's already received this communication. And the man, this may be, a, maybe there's a, ma a, a male figure that had passed away, or this man is ending. It, it's like he he's a significator, but... Um, Going in the line, man, death, I, I keep going back to that. There may be some health things or some things that are hidden. A question about a death. Why did it occur? 
That's for definitely a very, I know that's very specific, but that's for somebody. Or a man changing a man. This is a change or transformation. Male transformation. He's like making change, or if this is not a death, the man is making changes in his life. He may be unclear where he's headed. But there's definitely travel and movement. Key, moving is the answer to the anxiety. Where he may be having anxiety because of a move that he had to make. And we have the home here twice. So family is a big key here. And he's he can't see things. We had things that are hidden here. He can't see what's ahead. But he needs to trust his intuition. And we have the home here. These cards are the destiny cards. They are separate. I already see where that destiny card is, but I'm I'm gonna get dig more into this home. And get some other cards surrounding it. We have the stars. The scythe. And the bouquet. You know, this is cutting out communications. This is cutting out... The stars here is the subject down here. What is going on with this family dynamic? Their child new or a child home child health. There might be issues. Somebody might be the child of this person. And they're dealing with their father. Okay. Um, this is a long-standing family situation. And it's surrounding a child. they are obstacles. Some kind of commitment. Committed obstacles. And we have bouquet twice. And bouquet is gifts and such like that. Um, bouquet could be beauty. And abundance and friendship. It's happiness and love. And it could also be about healing. I feel as though this is saying that obstacle, commitment is the obstacle. Obstacle yeah, commitment is an obstacle to what somebody desires. He's looking at this mountain and he's wondering how he's going to remove that to get. Because it's like a commitment is the obstacle. This man, for some of you, you know, this change in family dynamics that might be going on involves a commitment. Um, that commitment, you know, is blocking. The block is this, this commitment is blocking desires, blocking happiness. And that's what he's looking at here. And underneath with the stars, 
stars is the subject of the of the read of the sentence. This is connections and visions. This could be multiple things. Okay. Um, social media. You know, social media, cultivated social media, leading to and to and the action being taken is healing or. Abundance. This could be leading to a friendship. A friendship could be, I'm going intuitively, a friendship could be taking a, on a new level. Um, if the Tower card was here, I would say it is happening in October. But it's not. I, th I feel like that there is social media, networking, you know, <clears throat> being out there that is cultivating. Okay. Scythe and happiness. This is a sudden ending. The scythe is also could also be harvesting. Somebody is harvesting through social media, which is something which is going to cause something to get cut off. What's getting cut off? We got the bouquet here. So the bouquet is saying, I feel like a friendship or, you know, it's, it's happiness and joy and peace. You know, the social, the social media could be, could cause some issues. This might be the source of the family issues is things posted on social media. And I feel like that they are, they could be vague and it's about trusting your intuition. If you are the woman, this gentleman is representing somebody significant in your life. If you are the man, this is probably you. Okay. Um, and things going on with you. Other information here going in my diagonals. You know, the man is really suffering a lot of anxiety over his home life. You know, there could have been communication from another man or communication with a man or the man could have been communicating. And this is about movement, travel, um, I feel like that this is a transport, a move. With this death card here, there's definitely feeling like there's a move. Anxiety from a man over the home. Then we have, this is like a big transformation, a big change that is occurring and the answer to the, his questions or your questions about him are coming. The, it's, it, it's like it's going to clear up and the cloudiness is coming from this letter. The darkness is on here and it's leading up to the key. So it feels so there are, there is definitely an answer to coming within the month of October that is going to answer your questions about what, what's going on now with the destiny cards. I'm going to put these ones aside for right now. The destiny cards is woman, whip, clover. Okay, we have here, the woman is a snake. She could be a nemesis. She could be the other woman. And the way this reading is unfolding, it feels like another woman. Because we have two bouquets in here as well. We have two, the home here twice. We have family issues. We have move and change. And I feel that it may involve selling a house. 
okay? And we have obstacles. He's looking at that obstacle to be cleared up. That what is the obstacle? It is a commitment. So I feel like this man was already committed and uh, it, feel, it feels like it's ending. We had the scythe card in here. You know, this bouquet could be literally a, a wedding bouquet cultivated from social media. But this other woman, sexy other woman, and is fortunate. It's like there's another woman who's all about the sex, and he might be all about the sex also. I'm just saying this could also be argumentative woman brings good fortune. This is an action card. This is like getting lucky. So I, I feel more like the with the whip. I don't feel like repetitive action. Well, it could be. What is he doing over and over? Repeatedly, maybe he, I, and this is associated with this man, repeatedly having an affair. There might be another affair coming up in the future this month. Just be on the lookout. I hate to deliver that kind of news, but this is what the cards say. And he's looking to score with another woman. This other woman has a very major sexual appeal. And if you are the woman, she is your nemesis. And that might be what is hidden. You may not have your proof yet. But the cards are saying, trust your intuition. About these things that you don't know for sure, trust your intuition. Well, I hope you enjoyed this mini Lenormand reading. Um, and again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. And I will see you in the next read. Blessed day.